Okay, so here they're asking us to prove that AB is parallel to CD. So they're trying to get us to say, can I prove that those two lines are parallel to each other? And they've given us a bit of information. I see that I have an isosceles triangle here. I've got 36 degrees in that corner and I have an X and a Y. But I might ask myself if I'm trying to prove that these are parallel lines, one thing that I can do is use the parallel line rules like alt angles, uh, corresponding angles, and co-interior angles. Knowing that all angles are supposed to be equal, corresponding are supposed to be equal, and co-interior add to 180. So if I can prove somehow the alternate angles inside of here are equal, then um, I can prove that they're parallel. Likewise, if I can prove corresponding or co-interior. So I might look at it first and decide whether corresponding, co-interior, or alt would be the most sufficient, and here I'm thinking that alt angles is what we want to be talking about, because I can make z-shapes inside of this circle with these lines. So, looking at those that idea, if I'm trying to find all angles, for instance, 36 and y, um, I'm not going to start by saying that y is equal to 36, but I'm going to try to prove that y is equal to 36, and those would tell me that I have alternate angles. So I'm going to start with x. Angle x, I'm going to say, is equal to 36 degrees. And my reasoning for that is because isos triangle base angles equal. Here I see an isosceles triangle. So that gets me started, and I'm on this side of the triangle. I need to try to make a relationship to the other side. So let's see if we can find our way to that part of the triangle and make a connection. One of the ways we might be able to do this is to take a look at this from a different point of view. If this is 36 and x is 36, I know I can find the number here and that would tell me the angle over here, but I don't know anything about these two, so I don't, I can't go anywhere with it, so I'm not going to go down that path. So I've got to look at the big picture here and kind of take a step back. I notice that this is a circle, correct? So I see that I have a circle here. I might look to see if I can use the circle geometry rules, like angles at the center, twice angles at the edge, or potentially angles on the same arc are equal. So if I look at this, angle x, is coming from the green arc over here, and angle Y is also coming from the green arc. They're both on the same arc. So I can say angle X is equal to angle Y, and my reason for that is angles on same arc equal. They both share the arc AD, so X and Y are going to be equal. Now that I know that X and Y are equal, I can then say that I know that y is equal to 36 degrees, because I know x is equal to 36 degrees. And then since y, angle y is equal to 36 degrees, that tells me that angle B, A, C is equal to angle A, C, D. And because of that, um, this means AB must be parallel to DC because alternate angles are equal. Put out the word equal. And there's the proof for you. So again, sometimes you have to use up lots of different ideas, and if you get stuck on something that's not going to take you anywhere, like finding those two angles, step back and look at the big picture, see if you can find a different rule to apply.